Okay, I got a cool little equipment dissection video to show you guys. We're going to be taking this thing apart. It's a credit card pin pad terminal type deal with the touch screen. I had two of these. Um, I didn't get any of the cables with them. I didn't even try to bother buying the cables because these things have so much freaking security in them. It's not even crazy. I mean, you do that and it wipes the encryption keys and it's ruined. I've already gone through all the trouble of taking the screws out of this one, so we're going to open it up. The first thing you'll notice is these two little things right here. What these are is their little contact pads that hit these two little switches right here. When you open it up, it erases the encryption keys for the pin pad encryption. And it'll spring loaded deals. There's one. The little carbon contact on it, just like this and these things right here, these four little silver things, actually push these, that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there, down onto these four spots with the cover on. When you remove the cover, it removes that pressure and erases the encryption once again. There's several different layers of this security in here, really. Um, cool little display, little touch screen type display that'll be handy for something. This here is pretty cool. We'll get to this in a minute. Um, got the three track mag stripe reader. Backup battery. And I'll pull this out. More of those little lock security switches. Smart card reader for the little chip in card type things. I don't know if I can pop this open or not. Yeah. This pulls off. You notice here these look like SIM card modules and it call they call them SAM1 and SAM2, so I'm guessing it's security application module, security access module. I don't know the little chips that go in them weren't in there when I got it. These are hookups for the little the little wand, the little stylus pin. I think there's one for Ethernet. Um Ethernet, the host terminal for like the computer or whatever, and then auxiliary. So there's that. This is just the back side of this board. I think I got all the screws off. Let's pull this out. The smart card reader, I'll save that. This is cool. This is the actual encryption module. And what this little thing around it is, this is actually part of the security defenses of it. If you see it's connected with that, that little ribbon cable down in there. So, if someone tried to get into this thing without tripping those little security switches, and then tried to, I guess, poke a hole through this, it would be detected. It would create a short end or something like that and erase the keys. So we can just pull that off though, but yeah. If you notice, I don't know how well you can see it, there's little fine wires that loop back and forth in there, so I'm guessing punching a hole in that would send a signal to this. Probably what this backup battery is for is to help be able to detect it with the power off. Here's the encryption module, it's epoxy potted. So you'd have a hard time getting this thing open. Box 321230B. SIN, S-E-N, 723511 f yeah, I don't know what exactly this thing does, but I'm guessing it's part of the encryption. It'd be cool to get it open, but opening it would probably destroy it beyond repair. As it is now, if this was sent back to the factory, they could reload the encryption keys and put it all, I mean, if you put it all back together and send it in, they could reload it. and get it back to operating. Basically it's a volatile memory thing and removing power just makes it erase the memory. Probably meets some kind of FIPS standards or something, some kind of government standards for encryption stuff. I've read a few of those. They gotta be auto zeroing if it's been tampered with and stuff like that. Switch one, yeah. All the different ICs on here. The other one I took apart actually had a temperature sensor on one of these ICs, which I thought was kind of 
unique for such a small device, but yeah, not really much to it. Microprocessor based type deal. Epson, that's kind of weird. I have an Epson IC. Philips. SMSC, yeah. Nothing too exciting on there, really. This, I'm probably going to give it to a friend to use. See if they can make it into something. Friend of mine that builds projects and stuff. Ocular. So that's not made by Ingenico, so aftermarket type thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a neat little project to take apart and We'll see what I can salvage off of here. Well, thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day.